Believe it or not, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Chef Daniel Graves has a unique recipe to wow your guests as you get ready to gather around the table. There you go. And joining him, Shannon Hanna Oliviero, public relations officer for Feeding Tampa Bay, friend of the blend. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. While he's morning. already kicking things off with yes. the recipe, let's talk holidays. I feel like it is the time of year where people do think of their neighbors, think of others, and food insecurity, though, it seems like this is when it's really in the spotlight. Are you seeing the need out there increasing, especially in our community? We are seeing the need increase, especially due to inflation. Oh. And also, you have to consider that the, all that pandemic aid has expired. So there's a lot of people, more than ever before, that are struggling with food insecurity, most not dreaming it would happen to them. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sure that that is. And going into the holidays, it's just adding all this extra stress. What are the, what are some things if people need a little extra help, how can they get that extra help as we head into the next couple months? So we're going to, you know, we want folks are hungry every day. Sure. But of course we want people to enjoy their, their cultural traditions, gather around that table, you know, to share that family time. So Feeding Tampa Bay will be doing distributions of full Thanksgiving dinners. Our first one will be November 15th at HCC, compliments of Winn-Dixie, and that will go on up until, and then in December as well, we'll help with those holiday memories. Yeah. Speaking of, Chef, what are you doing down there? You're making a Thanksgiving side that kind of is uh, outside of the box, for Perhaps. Yes, I wanted to do something that's fun, innovative. So this is an acorn squash queso fundido, which oh. is vegetarian, Ooh. so it's a little bit healthier. It can be done with butternut squash. Uh, it could really be done spaghetti squash, it's your choice. But what I've done is I've taken an acorn squash, I've cut it in half, I've rubbed it with olive oil after I scooped out the center. Very simple to do, 325, about 40 minutes. And what it does is it caramelizes, it actually gets sweet. So I let it cool, I scoop it out, put it in a food processor at your house, turn it into a smooth mixture. Okay. And to that, I added some jack cheese with jalapenos to give it a little bit of zip. Ooh. Some cheddar, you can use smoked gouda, which I've done before. This is my favorite, goat cheese. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I've already added that. This is caramelized onion, simply sauteed onion till it's caramelized. A little ancho powder, which gives it, ancho chili powder, which gives it a smoky flavor. A little paprika. And we're gonna finish it with a little cumin, of course, salt and pepper. And basically what I've done is, I've mixed this mixture up, placed it in a baking dish, just mix it really, really well. Put it in a baking dish, you're gonna bake it at 325 for about 40 minutes and, or until there's an internal temperature right around about 160. And then I topped it off with a store-bought salsa that you can get anywhere. You don't have to make it if you don't want. Uh, have some diced jalapeno on it and a little bit of cilantro. Finish it off with pumpkin seeds for a little crunch. Ooh. Oh. And served it with pepita chips. I mean, I'm sorry, pepita chips. Plantain chips yeah, were my favorite. Meant. Which that are, is so easy. Yeah, it is and easy. But it feels so different. It's, it can either be a side at the Thanksgiving dinner for fall, or it can be something you put out before the turkey's <gasps> done while people are kind of getting a little bit hungry and are getting a little impatient because well, that, that bird takes a little bit. It's a great accompaniment for, like I said, the side or the beginning when people are waiting around and they want something to eat and snack on prior to eating Thanksgiving. It sounds good. We're gonna have the recipe for you online so you can make that for Thanksgiving or maybe for just sure. for the weekend. Oh, well, I was gonna say, there you go. <laughs> I mean, this you know weekend. too, like Shannon, you address some of the big days you have coming up on the 15th, but mm -hmm. you know, we already addressed how the insecurities are up there. How can people give back? Again, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning, I feel like people do wanna give this time of year, especially since right. we're talking Thanksgiving already. Tell people what they need to know. How can they help out Feeding Tampa Bay? Well, we call it Feeding the Season, making sure, again, people have those holiday memories. You can go to feedingtampabay.org, and there'll be a location that you can give. Um, a full meal for a family of six is a donation of $50, but every dollar counts. And that full meal is the turkey, all of the fixings, and maybe even enough for that wonderful appetizer that Chef prepared. Yeah. Oh, good call there. And two, what if people are watching that do find themselves maybe, you know, dealing with, and as you said, so many people who have not had food insecurity in the past are facing it now because of inflation. What do you say to people who might need that extra assistance? Absolutely go to feedingtampabay.org again, but at the top is find food. You can find food closest to you, and there's um, we have over 400 partners who are helping us distribute. So there is food there for you. There is no reason anyone shouldn't be able to sit around a wonderful table of food in town. Good stuff. Yeah. Speaking well, of find food near us, <laughs> I'm going to be starting to reach. I'm starting to reach here, which means we got to wrap up, right? Yeah. Thank you both for being here. This was great. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you for having us.